Investors create housing developments for a variety of reasons to make their mark, leave a legacy or build a dream, but always to show a profit. And of course, the most important single factor we're told, location, location, location. Less than a mile east of Coast Highway 101, Newport's main thoroughfare, lies a 30-acre parcel of land primed and ready for development. One of the last remaining properties of this type anywhere within the city limits, the best has been saved for last. For the purpose of this property tour presentation, it should be noted that all maps you're seeing are approximations in good faith and as such, precise boundaries will need to be verified. The 30-acre subject property sits above the city of Newport's southeast side, overlooking everything, and is essentially made of four interconnected groupings of parcels, already mapped out as a development. The first section we'll look at is a two-lot parcel we'll call the Northwest Section. There are simply no better views of the Aquina Bay, the Aquina Bay Bridge, and the Pacific Ocean beyond anywhere on the Central Oregon coast. From this vantage point, the view to the southwest proves that. As you can see, the topography of the land lends to the ease of site development in such a way as to preserve spectacular views for every property. Views of the ocean, the Aquina Bay Bridge, Noah's new home port of the Pacific Fleet, the South Beach Marina, the Oregon Coast Aquarium, all seem close enough to touch. The next section, we'll refer to as the North Section, encompasses four large parcels with roadway easements already calculated in. Similar to the land of the Northwest Section, breathtaking views and easy land topography promise to simplify the development of this section as well. From a slightly different perspective, an alternate variety of views and possibilities present themselves. The eastern section of the development site is more heavily wooded with a variety of spruce and alder trees as well as the occasional Douglas fir. In order to better tour the property by four-wheel drive, pathways have been cut through the undergrowth to allow access, but no trees have been removed. From the center of the larger eastern section, a wonderful combination of neighborhood and territorial views are possible. With the topography of the land slightly more rolling, design architecture of this neighborhood will be both exciting and beautiful. Although not perfectly level, every building site that you'll see in the upcoming home site plat engineering overlays is easily buildable. A different observation from the eastern section, looking west and panning to the south, reveals more views of another perspective of the Aquina Bay and on up the Aquina River. Majestic views of Tabletop Mountain and the Coast Range frame this perfect setting. Finally, the smaller section to the south, overlooking the Aquina Bay, is actually the last two large building lots in the adjacent Running Springs housing development, but is still included in this overall land offering. A choice of building sites exist in these, the most sloping of all the properties. Level at the bottom, climbing to the heart-pounding views from the top of the hill, these two lots call out for daylight basements. Yes, with a view. The view includes Tabletop Mountain, the Coast Range, the Aquina Bay and River, and if that wasn't enough for the morning coffee, even a peak of the ocean. As this 30-acre development property is within the city limits of Newport, electrical service is available from the north perimeter. City sewer is accessible, both from the Harbor Village RV Park at the southwest perimeter and the Running Springs development at the southeast corner. Though not yet submitted or approved, one possible engineering concept for the northwest section of this development site would be primarily constructing a neighborhood of townhomes with a few key view lots for larger single-family homes. Utilizing the north section and a portion of the east section, a combination neighborhood could be developed comprised of an even disbursement of townhomes and larger single-family lots. 
The eastern section with a designated wetland area would ensure a permanent green space around which to create a truly remarkable neighborhood of larger, more attractive single-family homes. In this possible scenario, the yield would be 97 townhomes, 118 single-family homes, and of course with the two sites in the Running Springs development, that would bring the total single-family home count to 120. According to the latest figures from the Lincoln County Board of Realtors, released January of 2011, of homes sold in Lincoln County in the calendar year 2010 while listed with the multiple listing service, 506 single-family homes sold in Lincoln County. The average sales price of these homes, slightly over $272,000 each. Also in 2010, 74 townhomes were sold in Lincoln County at an average per unit price of nearly $206,000. Using these same figures, the 120 single-family homes and 97 townhomes of this Norman Street development project could produce a gross sales yield of more than $52 million. Not a bad return on investment when you consider the phenomenally reasonable asking price in terms on this entire 30-acre site. As an added incentive, the City of Newport has already indicated their eagerness to work with a developer on this project. You can call it the Norman Street development or whatever you like. The important factor to note is that this 30-acre site is strategically located overlooking Newport within the city limits and less than a mile from all the action. With NOAA, or National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, relocating their home port operations from Seattle to Newport, hundreds of new people have already relocated here. And the city is growing. The port fishermen are beginning to get excited again. Newport's historic bayfront is bustling. And the main street of Newport, the Coast Highway 101, always has something going on. Newport is a wonderful city in which to live or raise a family. With 53 restaurants, art galleries, and performing arts, the quality of life is excellent here. The educational district is highly renowned, the climate mild, and the recovering economy along the Central Coast just didn't seem to get hit quite as hard as much of the rest of the country. Perhaps now is the time for you to make your mark, leave your legacy, build your dream. And while you're at it, the dreams of a couple hundred other families as well.